Joining me now, Rice Head football coach David Bailiff, eight seasons with the Owls. Coach, uh, you coach the first Rice team, have three straight seven win seasons, first bowl win since 54, uh, conference win, I mean, three bowl games, you won two of those. So here's what I was going to ask you. The hard part about coaching at Rice is recruit. you, you got to get smart guys that can also play football. How tough is that? You know what? It's not as hard as you think. When you find the right guys whose goals align with the university, they're highly motivated to graduate, highly motivated to win championships. I mean, it is. It's a, it's a select few. But when you get them there on the campus and they see what Rice can do for them the rest of their life, they're probably going to choose Rice through this process. So your recruiting pitch is more education than I can get you to the NFL, right? Well, we had, last year, we had 10 guys on professional rosters. So we, we're putting guys in the NFL. Nine of them had already graduated. But it is. It's all about recruiting the family. It's all about what Rice can do for you for the rest of life. We tell them all, at five years, we expect you to be the boss. At 10 years, we expect you to pay your scholarship back. And at 30 or 40 years, we expect you to name a building after yourself. And here's our proof. <laughs> Before you came to Rice, you were at Southwest Texas. You were the head coach there. That's your alma mater. How tough was it for you to leave your alma mater and come here to a school that you know is basically an academic school that didn't have a big football reputation? You know, they're tough decisions. They are because you, you fall in love with the players where you're at. But when you dream, you have your professional dreams of coaching at a Division I school, and especially when you grow up in the state and you know what Rice stands for, and it truly is a Texas treasure. Uh, and it's one I just believed we could do it. Just the fact I was an old Texas high school coach. I thought we could get a lot of support from the, the Texas high school coaches, and we have. And I think, you know, the, the city of Houston, the state of Texas, does a great job of educating these guys, and a lot of them are ready for rice. Now, you came, you, you spent three years at TCU. You were a defensive coordinator. You worked under Gary Patterson. Correct. That must have been an education. That is. You know what? He's amazing. Just the, the focus and the detail he has every day at work. Um, his organizational skills, what he can see when he watches video, and to be able to, to work with Gary and have him teach me what he knows. I mean, that was, it was it's why I'm here where I am now, because Gary, Gary Patterson, he really, he's amazing at what he does. Tom Herman, the new U of H coach, was saying the same thing about you, that you were kind of a mentor to him. Well, Tom, what a, you know, you, you look, I'm so fortunate. I've had great coaches, great young coaches, and they all, you know, you get in this and you aspire to, to be a head coach. And to have Tom Herman as a head coach now, so proud of him. Right across town? Yes, yeah, I'm proud of him. And David Beatty's at Kansas now. You know, he was with us at Rice, and it just does. I mean, that's part of your job is to help guys, not only your football team, but your coaches pursue their dreams. So anything I can do to help them. All right, Coach, stay where you are. We got more for you. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, more with Coach Bailiff. And later, can we really use the word Astros and winning together? I think we can. Stay with us.